Hello, everybody. Question: What is Google PageRank, or just simply PageRank? See a funny little picture here, but uh, these uh, colored lines are essentially links. And let's dive into the answer. Larry Page and Sergey Brin; those are the founders of Google. And in 1998, they basically pushed forward the white paper at Stanford University. Uh, describing this algorithm, and uh, while they had cited others before them, this study was very important, uh, of course, to Google, but and still is today in some ways. But um, the algorithm essentially then assigns a weight to each page uh, on your website or on websites across the net, and they are counted both internally on your website as well as externally. And some actually describe PageRank as simply a voting system, and I think that works well. Uh, PageRank will typically, if you have a brand new site, uh, be listed as a zero, which is really there is some value, but uh, you know, to the visual human eye, it's a zero if you've seen it in the Google uh, toolbar. And of course, ten being Google themselves and others who are extremely highly valued. So it's a voting system. So if you're voting for a U.S. president, um, you are basically assigning um, one thumbs up for that president. Same thing here. If there's a page out there uh, or a website that you like, you will actually probably describe it some in some way, and then pass a link across to it. Another way to look at this is. If you're doing something uh, unique in the marketplace and you are getting uh, heads up from some journalists and you get a reference from CNN.com, that is a highly valued site. That's a strong vote that essentially points back to your website or your page with a link, which is of high value and high trust and high authority, which are all the variables that uh, Google look at from a top level view. Now that doesn't mean that all links are bad. But that's of course a highly valued link, the one I just described, the CNN example. However, if you're getting a link from Bob's Hardware Store down the street and it's not related to you and it's not a highly valued site, yeah, that's not going to be as valuable, of course. Now, another way to look at this is a great graph from my friends at the Alliance uh, Inc. Um, here you can see the mountain of PageRank described. As I said, Google at ten, right at the mountain top here. Zero at the bottom. ESPN is an eight. eBay is a nine, right? And you can also look at these and describe them in terms of quality of sites. And we know if you see GE.com here, General Mills Swing Line four three two one, it breaks down. And so the level of effort and the level of activity needs to go on to build this high trust gets more and more insane <laughs> as you move up. But uh, quite doable, but it will take a longer time. Uh, to do. However, uh, over the over the years, PageRank has become uh, sort of um, it's almost like the green pixel envy is an expression we hear out there. If I have a PageRank six, I must be good. Well, PageRank is just one of those things that we look at when it comes to search engines and authority and trust. But it's only a variable. But if you look at it uh, as the one to be the deciding factor for your success, you are completely screwing yourself. There's there's many other things you need to look at, but we're not going to dive into that. Uh, that today. We just simply wanted to answer. What is Google PageRank? And essentially, all you need to know is that it's link-based. It's a link analysis algorithm, and it assigns weights and points essentially to each page page based on those links. And it can happen within your site. You can actually send points, if you will, to your own pages within your site, and of course, externally, as we described in that CNN CNN example. And I hope this was useful for you. And uh, watch for more videos in our series. Cheers.